Hi, my name's Kat, and today Reddit has been asked, people who met their partners after 30, how did it happen? Do you wish you met earlier? Yes, I wish we met earlier, by about five years. As we latched towards the end of our lives, I would loved another second, minute, hour or day with the best person on the planet. We met the old fashioned way, in a restaurant through a mutual friend. I had to work out of town for a couple of months after meeting, but on returning we quickly moved in together and married in 1990. So almost 35 years ago, we didn't have cell phones in 1986, much less the internet. Fax machines were a big thing. Different world, different times. Both of us were married 10 to 15 years previously. It honestly took the growth of our previous relationships to be able to have the meaningful relationship that we have now. Funny how your life being in shambles turns into the best thing you could have ever imagined and having a partner that is your true partner. New neighbour moved into the second floor studio and was chatting with me from his balcony whilst I worked on an art project in the yard. Thought nothing of it. Till some house guests insisted I come up and meet their friend. Small world. Weeks later he told me he was flirting with me, but I was oblivious as usual. We had 20 wonderful years together till he died suddenly. And yes I do wish we had met earlier, cause then we would have had more time together. Wow, thank you for all the rewards. It's the first time. For those who wanted to know, he died of a massive heart attack at 64. My CPR didn't help and neither did the EMTs. It was one of the hardest things I ever went through, but I would go through it again for those 20 years. I was in Australia on a working holiday visa. After going on about a million trials of different companies, I get a call for another interview with another one. Show up and there are three others, all interviewing for a bunch of different roles. He rushes in late, gives us all a spiel on each other of our roles. Asked if he wants to try it out and schedules a time. That was the interview. I don't think I answered a single question. He ends up driving me home after my trial day and I think how kind he is and my head automatically out of nowhere goes. It'd be weird if we ended up falling in love or he had to go back to Canada and we had to figure out cross country futures. Then I was like, what the hell was that? No. Boat smokes floats. No, you just met this person. About 4.5 months later, we were in love. And after seven months of that, I went back to Canada and we had to figure out our cross country future together. We're now legally partners, but I haven't seen him in a year and 15 days. Not at all how the last year was supposed to go. But God, I hope I get to see him this year. I don't necessarily wish we met earlier. I think we would have had a ball together as children because we had very similar interests. I also would have loved to have seen him in his wild 20s, but we both had lots of growing to do before we were able to be the partners we are to each other. I do wish we had more time together. I wish we had time together now, for that matter. Met eight years ago, had an old car meet in Nevada, spent a little time together, a bunch of the older ladies shoving us together whenever they could. Hence I avoided him for the rest of the trip. He lived in Texas, I lived in California. A year later he called me to ask me a question, and three hours later we got off the phone. Same thing the next day. Same thing the next day. I invited him to come out and visit because we were having an event at my house. To utter shock, he came. About a year and a half later, we were married. Five days before my 40th birthday, 15 months ago, I gave birth to our first and what will be our only daughter one week after my 43rd birthday. Yes, I wish I met him sooner sometimes, but in hindsight, the timing was perfect and meant to be, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Edit, thank you all for the wonderful responses. What a lovely thing to wake up to. And thanks for the rewards. We love our love story. If it's helped anyone not to feel discouraged. Can I tell the story about how my dad and stepmom met instead? This was back in the early 90s, pre-OJ car chase, by about a year I think. I was waiting tables at a state joint and was living at home with my dad after college. My parents had been divorced for a couple of years and my dad was seeing a lady that my sisters and I hated. I'm sure she was fine, but she was lame. She wore housecoats at 50. Anyway, one night I was waiting on a table about six ladies that were out celebrating something special. I had been joking with them throughout the evening and near the end of the meal, I asked if I could get anyone anything else. One lady said, do you have any tall, dark, handsome men stashed away back there? I tell her, no, sorry, we sold those with the prime rib. Ha <laughs> ha. She follows up with any short, fat, balding ones. I'm not particular. Not sure why I did it, but I answered. Nope, but you could go out with my dad. Before they left, she legit wrote her name and number down on a deposit slip, and I passed it along to my dad. He asked her out for ice cream, saying, something about how you can tell a lot by a person based on their ice cream choices. Okay, dad. 
They were married 20 years before he died of cancer. The second question first, no. We wouldn't have liked each other when we were younger. We met at 34 slash 34. She lived above a friend in the same apartment complex I lived in. I moved in with the friend, asked this girl out and she turned me down. About a month later, she went to Aziz and Zari show. He convinced her to give him her phone and he promptly read her Facebook messages out loud. He asked the audience if she gave me a chance. They all booed her. And then she asked me out a couple of days later. And Ziz Ansari guilted her into going out with me. Edit. We are married. Aziz was invited to the wedding. He did not come. My wife went to college with some people in the business and got hold of Aziz's publicist and got him to send in a video. We played it at the wedding and he said the duck wedding in front of my nana. It was hilarious. No, her name is not Ashley. We are in his book Modern Romance though. He put the Facebook interaction almost word for word in, but gave us different names. Side note, he didn't pressure her into doing anything. Some people like to be a part of things. She readily volunteered, and the Facebook thing was in context with the show. Edit 2. I asked this morning, and no, he was actually not invited to the wedding. I wanted my wife to invite him, and I thought she did. But of course, it's ridiculous to invite a celebrity to your wedding. I met my wife in a bar when I was with my brother and a friend of his. I thought my brother's friend was an idiot. My future wife approached us and proceeded to tell us that this idiot, what an idiot he was. Turns out they worked together. I was immediately attracted by the way she spoke in her judgement of people. After she walked away, I asked idiot what her name was. True to form, he would not give me her name. My future wife was with a group of six women. I nervously approached and asked for her name. I was 30. We've been together ever since. Edit to answer the rest. I don't think meeting early would have helped. I needed that time to grow up and become who I was. Previous relationships were longish term, but for whatever reason didn't work. This countship and resulting life, long relationship, only worked because we had those experiences. P.S. I'm fascinated by sentences that have the same work beside each other, e.g. had had. They are hard to create and consider, but sometimes they are just materialised. We met on the Coachella message boards. I was 34 and he was 30. He was looking for a ride to Coachella. I had tickets, but no one to go with. We met once for about an hour before making the 14 hour drive together. Hung out together the whole weekend. Discovered we have similar tastes in music and really enjoyed similar things. We didn't actually get together until about three months later when we met up to go to another music festival together. Music festivals have been a regular part of our 10 years together. Hopefully we'll be again soon. Stupid COVID. I don't think it would have worked if we met any earlier, although I wish we had. It took me a while to figure out how to be in a healthy relationship and I'm glad I met him at my right time. I met my wife in junior high school. We were friends in a group of friends. Never dated, lost contact after high school. 25 years later, we saw each other on social media, reacquainted it as friends, then started dating and eight years later we were married. Still happily married after nine years. We were both different people when we were younger and agree that it wouldn't have worked out between us if we got together when we were young. Met at work, he was an acquaintance for years prior, but the time wasn't right then. I'd say it worked the way it was supposed to for us. Met on the train. I had the day off and was just riding random trains. Personal joy. And she was going to work to fill in for someone. We wouldn't have met. We wouldn't have met under any other circumstances. She approached me, gave me her card and asked me out for coffee. Happily married for seven years. Do I wish we met earlier? No. Early to mid-twenties, me, was only concerned about clubbing and hanging out with friends. I would have probably blown her off. We both met at the right time in life. Edit. Grandma. Sent her a message on OkCupid, but then she set her account to inactive without seeing my message. Two years later, she reactivated her account, looked at her old messages, saw mine at the top of the queue, and the rest is history. We met through Craigslist, if I remember correctly. I was lonely looking for someone to see movies with. She was looking for more. But after a few weeks of chatting, we met up and oh my God, the sparks and chemistry. Our first date lasted nine hours long. Here we are, still madly in love. 11 years later, two kids, four states, four apartments, two houses and our 10 year anniversary in September. Edit, fix some typos. I am an absolute sucker for love stories. I really enjoyed reading through them all. Comment down below if you'd like a part two. I know I would. I met my partner when I was 17 and we're still together six years later down the line. Hopefully forever more too. So I can't really comment and say, do I wish we met before? Because 
before 17 I would have been very very young and so would he so yeah I can't share my experience but if you guys have any experience like this please comment down below we'd love to know thanks for listening guys and see you in the next one this video is sponsored by me. Sweet Mouthful Mixes brings Pick and Mix Sweets straight to your door. Choose up to 10 scoops of your favourite sweets or pick a pre packed bag. Sweet Mouthful Mixes has a 5 star hygiene rating and full PPE is worn whilst making the bags. With over 50 sweets to choose from, you're guaranteed to find something you like. Treat yourself. You've earned it. Get 20% off with code REDDIT.